Oh, shit! Carl, what are you doing here this early? Maintenance. Server problem. What about you? Uh, conference call, New York. I'll set it up for you. No. No, they pulled it. I'll get us a paper. Our campaign brief magazine's arrived. Creative rankings are out. Yeah, I haven't got time to read them now. I'll read them later. Are they really important? No. I mean, no one reads them. Don't mean anything. Well, it's just everyone's been asking about when they're coming in. Trying to find pictures of themselves on the party pages. Mr. Brook has asked too. Um, look, I'd better move on. I've got a lot to do. Hey, Carl, you're not living here, are you? No. The Dionda brand has a slight image problem. In the same slight way that O.J. Simpson has. I mean, it's the... Gary Glitter of the automotive trade. Thank you, Martin. Only a problem if you buy into the global warming myth. Well, this vehicle is going to change all that. The Dionda Tyre. World's first commercially available plug-in hybrid 4WD. You're calling it the Tyre, as in the Earth's worst landfill problem? No, Tyre, T-Y-A, as in the Aboriginal word meaning Earth. It's researched off the charts. I'm sure the Aboriginal community loved it. You know, Martin, your jaded cynicism is very attractive, but mainly to you. Now, you may not have noticed this, but this planet has quite a few problems, and some of us are trying to fix them. I love this planet. It's, it's his I hate. <laughs> Good. Then you'll be pleased to hear that the tyre runs on electricity and its charge lasts 1,000 kilometres, ten times more than normal. Well, it has to be an asterisk, so its top speed is 10 k's, right? Zero to 107.2 seconds and the whole car is recyclable. The world's first asterisk-free car. Its silent motor would make it ideal for military application. Ah, an asterisk. Do you know I woke up this morning? By yourself? It's not really relevant. Yes, I woke up this morning. By yourself? By myself. And I thought to myself, you know what, Marion West? It's taken a while, but you are actually making a difference here. You could make a bigger difference to the planet if you scrapped the rest of the Bayonda range. My happiness threatens you, doesn't it? You resent positive, well-adjusted people. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a complaint. Yeah. yeah, you said he was a doctor, and he was. He was a doctor of Scientology. And that, that blotch on the picture, that wasn't a blotch, that was him. Do you mind? Um, do you know what? Just, um, take, take me off the list until further notice. Who actually does that for a living? Uh, the prototype arrives in a week. That's when we have to shoot. Happy to oblige. Yeah. Sunset. A balloon rises across the African savannah. A herd of Dionda tyre make their You're way to... You're not going to fucking Africa on some bullshit jaunt again, Sumo. Daybreak. A cool stream in the Andes. No. A fish... Midday. The shimmering sands of the Sahara. We see another Dionda... We're shooting here in a week. 5.30 a.m. A freezing cold studio in Redfern. A hint of urine in the air. We have to convince people that this car is so clean, asthmatic kids could suck on the exhaust and not need their puffers. Well, let's tell them it cleans the air. I haven't Toyota already claimed that. More happy future. Environmental harmony. Everyone's happy. Describe happiness. Sunset. A balloon rises above the African savannah. Marty. Marty. Hey. What do you think? If your mum could use a little less makeup? No. Possible replacement Bobo. Seeing as the last three clowns you showed me have spent most of their adult life under police surveillance, I assume you've screened this one. I'm on it. Leave it with me. Good. Martin, have you seen this? Campaign brief. The creative lifeblood of this agency is being drained away. This ranking defines our creative worth as an agency. And in the past year, BND has dropped 15 places. It's hurting business. When did you start here again? 
your personal creative ranking has plummeted from third to 21st. You don't let us enter awards. What do you expect? Awards are, to quote, an expensive wank. You admitted it yourself. They are. They're expensive, they're completely arbitrary, and they mean nothing to the outside world. And they're usually shaped like a golden suppository. But it's the only way anyone assesses our creative worth. You let me enter enough awards, I'll get you back to number one. Right. Let's go creative, go win awards immediately. I'll dedicate the first suppository to you. Hey, when's the Cannes Awards deadline? Oh, I don't know. Soon, I think. I thought we weren't allowed to spend money on entries this year. Got anything to enter? Uh, yeah. There's the 99 cent Boy Boy Burger thing. The uh, vampire tampon interactive radio or the anti flatulence charcoal tablet tip? Uh, stop. Just give me an entry date and book me a ticket to Nice. Okay. Miss Barney, I need you to get me a list of all the charities in the country. Oh, Jesus, are the creative rankings out? Just give me a list. This is happiness. In a world full of sadness, recession, pollution, it's good to know you can find a good news story that still lifts your spirits. Can you at least pretend to take your ADD medication? Uncle Marty has dropped from third to 21 in the creative rankings. Guys, my office. 21 today, 21 today. But I thought this Dionda thing was a priority. There's always a reason to put something off. Now it's time this agency gave something back to the society that has given us so much. Great, what charities approached us? They haven't. Pick one. OK, well, what about starving children? Yeah. World Vision? No, they got an agency. Sick pandas? Depression? Oh, no, depression's a bit... Uh. Aboriginal health? <laughs> <laughs> Underage drinking. Now, that's a good one. No, nah, I reckon beer would kill us. Oh, what about domestic violence against women? No, nah, I reckon beer would kill us. Oh, road toll? Bad. Oh, yes, Rex. Uh, it has to be something that genuinely matters that's not going to offend any of our clients. Breast augmentation. Well, that's not a charity. Oh, it should be. I watched my aunt die of endometrial cancer six years ago. She left behind two kids. If it was diagnosed properly, she'd probably still be around today. Got a loop? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and a little bit touchy. All staff to the hub, please. All staff to the hub. We're all happy with cancer? Yay! Yeah. How about a live tally of deaths? Oh, that's good. I've got a mate who did the counters for Wheel of Fortune. He could do this. Uh, better. A live death. We track the patient through the process of dying. Be there at the crucial moment. Okay, skeleton crew on permanent standby. That is a calm gold light. It's hardly the point, Timo. Oh, no, 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 of course not. But we're just giving back to society that's given us so much. Gather round, peoples. This is a wild and crazy business. That's why we're in it. It's time to reconnect with our wild and crazy sides. For starters, I am relaxing the dress code. Oh, thank God for that. Hence the chapeau. I think it makes a statement about where I'm coming from. Paris under German occupation? This is a think tent. It's part of some initiatives that I will be implementing for you creative types. What exactly do we do with it? It's breaking your thinking out of the square. Into a triangle. Yes. In a square room. Yes. Feeling the buzz. It's working already. <laughs> Who's with me? I am not getting into a tent with that man. Martin. <sighs> What's this charity bullshit? Well, you won awards, that's how you win them. Charity is for the weak. Oh, staff feel worthy. Client can't tell you what to do because they're not paying. Simple emotional message. Hello, Golden Suppository. This won't involve lesbians or people opposed to the monarchy. You'll keep your interests out of it. This one's got no eyebrows. Can you get eyebrow cancer? What about this one? Ooh, he's kind of cute. Uh, rectal cancer. Oof, turn off. Boom! Found our star, Amanda Walls, 38, advanced endometric cancer. Nice. Three weeks to live. Nice. This is great. She's got two kids. Oh, nice. I'd just die if I lost my eyebrows. 
Nature springs to life, happiness returns to the planet. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Um, so what if we were to um, think outside the box here? Yep. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just throwing stuff out there and seeing, seeing how you react. What if we were to shoot the ad, I don't know, without the car? Mm -hmm. It'd be such a break with convention, wouldn't it? We had assumed that since Deonda had spent so much on the car's development that there was... And the brief did say that the car was to be shown in every frame. Marion? I can't get the car. Sorry. There's only one in existence and it's gone to the Berlin Motor Show. So the campaign's off then? No, no. Um, head office still won it yesterday. Just, um, you know, without the actual car. Oh, mate of mine's a model maker, worked on Fast and the Furious. Well, that's exciting. No, he can build a car in 125th scale and we shoot it in miniature. With miniature actors by this Thursday? No, no. Bade Marion's right, OK? Look, we've got total artistic licence here. There's no mandatory product shots. It's just about the car, the environment and being happy. OK, so what makes us happy? Um, what are we living for? From the hour you are born, you begin to die. No. Death is the greatest of all human blessings. Crap. Mm. In the midst of winter, there was within me an invincible summer. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Uh, maybe with a jingle like you did for that uh, scrubbing spoons. Uh, scrub in the morning, scrub at night. Scrub it till it's nice and bright. Doesn't really, doesn't really work. Cancer, does Jesus Christ. Uh, Martin, this is Amanda. Wrong. Sorry, Amanda, I told this bitch had no female clowns. Bobo Burgers want a male clown, certainly not one wearing a hat like that. Amanda's the cancer patient who's volunteered to appear in our ad. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is. It's a terrible hat, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm making a fortune at children's parties. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all... We're all uh, really glad that you could do this. It's, it's, we're, we're, not, we're not glad that you have cancer. We're, we're... I'm, I'm pleased I can help. Thank you. Dying's fairly boring otherwise. There's a lot of sitting. <laughs> You could have bloody warned me. It's my fault. I should have realised she looked like a clown from that angle. Well, but she I did. did. Marty. I did. Hey. I was working back late last night and it hit me. If we're selling clean air, blue skies and a reasonable future, we don't need the car. Of course. What do you, what do you mean? We shoot this against a green screen, so we'll see forests, mountains, whatever you like. The family glide along and the invisible day under tyre makes no impact on the landscape whatsoever. I can see this so clearly. He's, he's driving a bit fast, isn't he? Slow down, McBaney. It's You just have to be careful with these sort of messages, you know. Yeah. Now, the kids look out the window and they see kangaroos in the forest and they wave, hello, kangaroo! <laughs> and, and, and they're all wearing seatbelts, right? Stop the car, McBaney. So I'm, I'm being a bit literal, aren't I? Just a bit. Sorry. <laughs> That was my idea and you stole it and said it was yours. Stole it? I presented it as yours. You were asleep. You did? Yes, and thanks to my selling skills, we're now making it. But I thought that you... Look, you just don't steal other people's ideas, OK? It's just not how it's done. Now, we're a team, Kath, aren't we? Yeah. I'm sorry. OK. 
and let's not have this conversation again. For the oceans, for the animals and for the future we leave our children. It's technology so clean, planet Earth won't even know we're here. <coughs> ah, sorry. It says everything. Yeah, the whole thing just came to me. We need to replace the word clean with advanced. No clean. And no clean. Dionda. So advanced, planet Earth won't even know we're here. Why can't we say clean? Uh, the standards board says no car on Earth is clean. What the hell? It's a hell of a lot cleaner than the crap everyone else makes. Martin? Hey, hey, don't just take this the wrong way, because I, I think you're doing an awesome, awesome job on the Dionda thing, but um, I just... I just hope they know it's my idea. Of course. I presented it as your idea, Sumo. You did? We're a team here, mate. I'm a little offended that you brought it up. Let's not have this conversation again. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Life doesn't always have a happy ending. Or even a happy middle. <laughs> I've come to realise that the beauty of life... The great joy of it is in its possibility. She's way too chirpy. And I think she's hopped up on morphine or something. Let's put some tubes up her nose. Maybe put her on a drip. But this is reality. This is what happens. Let's put a green filter over her, make her look a bit sicker. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Has anyone here noticed just how extraordinarily brave this woman is? Yeah, she's really talented. She's not acting. I know. I don't know how she does it. We got anyone for the voiceover? Yes, Andy, the hemorrhoid voice. Oh, yeah, he does great sympathy. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing this? Same reason you are. For your cousin. Aunt. Aunt. That the beauty of life. Do you think she'd shave off the rest of her hair? The joy of it is in its possibility. We have the mother of all problems. Calm down, McBaney. No one's died. It's just the problem. We can't run the cancer out until she croaks, right? And unless it goes to air, it's not eligible for car. The deadline's in two days. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Put a pillow over her head and film that? Can we at least ask her if we can run the fake death just once, late at night on a regional network? That would qualify us to enter reward shows. It would be a terrible tragedy not to run it. Reduced with cancer. 25% of your body straight off. Liver, gone. Hair, gone. Future, gone. Mission is at for 10% more cancer. Yeah. Hi. Thank you for coming in. Uh, I was more than happy to come to you. No, I wanted to get out of the hospital for a smoke. Oh, is that how you got... No. No, I've just taken it up. That's oh. not going to kill me, is it? No. <laughs> we all need a hobby. So what are you still doing at work? Don't you have a home to go to? Uh, don't remember. I cut a holiday short with my kids once to attend a seminar on calibrating linear strategies in direct marketing. And can they be calibrated? I'm not sure. It was only a four-day seminar. <laughs> I've got cancer now and I still rate that as the worst week of my life. You wanted to see me? Yeah, um... I wanted to ask you if... I just wanted to thank you again. I should be thanking you. Cigarette. Marty. I've got some great news. You got a mate who worked on Jurassic Park who can grow a clown from dead tissue? No. We can run the cancer ad. When does she die? Just in time. Three o'clock in the morning. I've got the camera guy from Matrix reloaded. Got some good stuff, right? Unfortunately, a little bit of bad news. We did have to pay a late fee to get it into calm, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey? Who that? Sorry? We're not running it. Hey? Why didn't he run it? It doesn't matter anyway. 
My di... Our diondrad has been shortlisted for calm. It's going to be a gold lion. I was doing it for my aunt. The diondrad? Oh, no, right, the cancer thing. We all were. You okay? Not really. Are you trying to use my then aunt get into my pants? Just trying to make every day count. You're sick. There is no car, there was no car, and there never will be a car. So what was that suspiciously car-like shape in the press stuff and the motor show? Oh, that was a, a clay model. No kidding. Well, in fairness, I guess clay is recyclable. They don't, they don't even have the technology. I mean, the whole thing is this, this massive line on the front person. Well, you're a nice one. Just, I don't know why they put me through this. I've wasted everyone's time. The best way to hide from a problem that you've caused is to pretend that you're the solution. Technical speak? Greenwashing. Tire. Aboriginal word meaning horse shit. <laughs> mm. There's always an asterisk. Come on, let's have a drink. Congratulations to all of those involved in Martin's inspired Dionda Tire ad, yeah. which has just been nominated for a Can Gold Lion. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, celebrations within the parameters of moderation will continue for the next one hour, 15 minutes. Carry on. Fucking Martin. Oh, I'm just really upset he's taking credit for your idea. Do you know all we do? You and me, we do is we we tell everyone to buy masses of shit they don't need. You and me, we we tell everyone. Yeah, I I, I got that bit. And if and if the Earth were an aeroplane, the oxygen mask would have dropped long ago. I just want to fly away somewhere. Um, we could fly back to my place for a can of pre-war tuna and stale saladas. Um, <laughs> being abbreviated <laughs> and leading pointless, empty, barren lives, it's, it's not a, a good enough reason for you and me, we, to sleep together. Is it? I think it probably is, you know. Okay. I don't want the tuna, though. said no. No, no, it's not the money. He just won't do a hemorrhoids ad. I know. Oh. Carl? I was thinking. Oh. 